Marin's first round of large-scale pioneer settlement came in the wake of the California Gold Rush, as empty-handed 49ers sought refuge from the muddy mining camps of the silver-lined Sierras into the welcoming arms of a more temperate sleeping lady. Smiley's schooner saloon was wetting the whistles of brawny Bolinas loggers, while the Olima Inn offered room and board to weary coastal travelers. To the north, the Marin French Cheese Company took delicious advantage of the area's unbottled dairy industry. By the 1870s, Marin was well on its way to becoming the kind of place where pioneering families would stay forever, literally, as the Mount Tam Mortuary became one of the county's first final resting places. By 1875, Marin was off on a whole new track with the arrival of the North Pacific Coast Railroad, running from Sausalito to Corte Madera to Point Ray Station and on to Tamales. As towns grew around the train stops, business boomed. Palace Market served as the general store in Point Ray Station, while the William Tell House had warm blankets and even warmer whiskey for travelers through Tamales. Not long after that, the Mountain Home Inn established its hospitality at the high end of the crookedest railroad in the world featuring 281 twists and turns up the side of magnificent Mount Tam. When the blazing incendiaries following the 1906 earthquake sent waves of displaced San Franciscans across the Golden Gate, Marin welcomed its next great diaspora from the south. With so many seismically rattled San Franciscans making Marin their new permanent home, a building boom came to town. Businesses like Fairfax Lumber, Peeney Hardware, Gelati Brothers, provided the muscle and materials, while Frank Howard Allen Real Estate offered affordable land with pristine views. When the West End Nursery put the finishing touches on floral beautification, Marin's reputation as a suburban paradise was permanently hammered into place. Soon Marin was roaring into the roaring 20s. The Stutz Bearcat style of Jack L. Hunt Automotive and bustling kitchens of Sam's Anchor Cafe and Deer Park Villa brought Jazz Age Bacchanal to the county. With the opening of the Golden Gate Bridge in 1937, the once sleepy suburb had finally become the modern day mecca for families that we know today. Ongaro and Sons kept the indoor plumbing on a steady flow. Grocers at Mill Valley Market and United Market offered veggie advice in the pre-paper or plastic times. Toby's Feed Barn and Point Ray Station became the focal point to a modern Marin town emerging from its rustic roots. Today, Marin is a county known across the nation. From tourists to tree huggers, pundits to presidents, it's known for its diversity, innovation, and entrepreneurial daring. And many of the families and businesses that once laid the foundation for the county's future are still serving its residents with the same commitment and passion their forebears did decades and decades ago.